Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the risk and return of a three asset portfolio in Excel. In our example, our portfolio consists of stocks A, B and C, where A has an expected return of 9.8%, B has a return of 5.8% and C has a return of 6.9%. On the other side, we have the variance covariance matrix for the stocks in our portfolio, which we'll use to calculate the portfolio standard deviation. Here, the diagonal cells highlighted grey contain the variance of each asset, while the other terms correspond to the covariance between assets. For example, 1.74% is the covariance of assets A and B. We'll need to use this matrix to calculate the portfolio standard deviation. Based on these inputs, we want to calculate what the return and risk levels are when we invest different proportions in stocks A, B and C in order to identify which portfolio we'd like to select. Therefore, we can invest different weights in A, B and C. For example, we can invest 30% in A 35% in B, and the remainder in C. The only rule is that our portfolio weights always have to add up to 1, as we assume that stocks A, B and C are the only stocks in our portfolio. To calculate the risk and return of each portfolio, we'll use the following two formulae. The formula on the left is used to calculate the expected return of the portfolio, while the formula on the right is used to calculate the standard deviation of the portfolio. Starting with the return, we firstly take the weight in stock A, which is 0%, and multiply this by the return of stock A, which is 9.8%. Then, as per our formula, we add the weight in stock B, and multiply this by the return of stock B, and then finally add the weight in stock C, and multiply this by the return of stock C. Therefore, the expected return is 6.35%. However, before we drag this formula down to the remaining cells, we're going to add absolute references to the individual returns to ensure that these remain static. We can then double click the bottom right hand corner to drag this formula down. Therefore, as the weight in stock A increases and the weights in B and C decrease, the portfolio return increases until the return is maximised when all our funds are invested in stock A. This outcome makes sense as A has the highest expected return of 9.8%. However, does this mean that we should choose a portfolio that is fully invested in A? Not necessarily, as we need to consider the risk as well. Calculating the standard deviation is slightly trickier. We type equals SQRT to find the square roots. We open brackets and then we're going to follow this formula here. We first enter the weight in A to the power of 2 multiplied by the variance of A, then add the weight in B to the power of 2, multiplied by the variance of B, and then finally add the weight in C to the power of 2, multiplied by the variance of C. Next, we're going to consider the second part of the formula, which involves the covariance terms. So we add 2 times the weight in A, times the weight in B, times the covariance of A and B, plus 2 times the weight in A, times the weight in C, multiplied by the covariance of A and C, and then finally add 2 times the weight in B, times the weight in C, and then multiply this by the covariance of B and C. Before we drag this formula down, 
let's once again add absolute references. We're going to fix everything with dollar signs, except the cells pertaining to the weights, as we want these to remain dynamic. As before, we can then double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down. As you can see, the risk starts quite high despite the return being at its lowest and then reduces up to a point and then increases again. The portfolio with the least amount of risk is the one that has a weight of 30% in stock A and 35% in stock B and stock C. Therefore, a very risk averse investor may pick this portfolio, while someone who is less risk averse may pick a portfolio with a higher risk and return. So that's how you can calculate the expected return and standard deviation of a three asset portfolio in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.